हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद वसीम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन मैथमेटिक्स आर्ट साइंस कॉमर्स कॉलेज बदलापुर इन यू नो दैट इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट इनवर्स लेपर्स ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड वी हैव सीन डेफिनेशन एंड सम थेरम्स ऑन इनवर्स लेपर्स ट्रांसफॉर्म टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद एग्जाम्पल्स एंड वी विल लर्न हाउ टू सॉल्व दीज एग्जाम्पल्स we have already given a solution of uh, laplace transform of some function we have to find that function so uh, we have started uh, with the two example which we have done in previous lecture now today we will go through some more example which are uh, more complicated than yesterday's lecture now so we will start with example we are studying about inverse laplace transform and inverse laplace transform and we know that the importance of inverse laplace transform now we are example about one is find inverse Laplace transform of f of s is given as one upon s minus two plus two upon s plus five plus six upon s plus two. Or in a simple way. We can say that find the Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform of one upon s minus two, two upon s plus five, and six upon s plus two. Now the example is given as follows, and we have to calculate or we have to find the function of a function. Which has the Laplace transform of this? We have to find f of t whose Laplace transform is this. So uh, we are going to use uh, our theorems which we have uh, taught in the previous lecture. Now, starting with the solution, we can write it as. Inverse Laplace transform of one upon s minus two plus two upon s plus five plus six upon s raised to four. Now, since we know that in previous lecture we have seen in first theorem that is inverse Laplace transform satisfies linearity property means. It distributes over addition and subtraction, so we can distribute this with respect to. We can distribute over addition and subtraction, so we will get inverse Laplace transform of one upon s minus two, inverse Laplace transform of two upon s plus five, inverse Laplace transform of. Six upon s raised to four. Since by linearity property, we know that linearity property is inverse the first transform of c1 f1 plus c2 f2 is equal to c1 and c2 where are constant. So taking c1 outside. We can write it as c1 inverse Laplace transform of f1 plus c2 inverse Laplace transform of f2. Similarly, we have distributed inverse Laplace transform to each term of this example. Now we know that inverse Laplace transform, how we can write it as it? Inverse Laplace transform. Of one upon s minus two becomes e raised to two t inverse Laplace transform of 
1 upon s plus 2 constant taking outside e raised to minus 5 k inverse the plus transform of 1 upon s then we can take 6 outside inverse the plus transform of 1 upon s raised to 4 correct and since we know that inverse the plus transform of f of s minus e is equal to e raised to e t f of t or we can write it as inverse the plus transform of f of s and in a simple manner we can write it as f of t correct we are using first V property in which inverse the first transform of f of s minus a is equal to e raised to a t inverse the first transform of f of s and inverse the first transform of f of s becomes f of t and we know that since in previous lecture we have seen about Laplace transform of 1 we will get 1 upon s similarly whenever we can one we calculate inverse the plus transform of 1 upon s we will get 1 so here we can write it as e is to 2t into 1 again 2 e is to minus 5t into 1 plus 6 and we know that inverse the plus transform of 1 upon s raised to n plus 1 will give us t raised to n upon n factorial or if n is not integer then we can write it as t raised to n gamma of n correct so we can write it as t raised to n n means n plus 1 minus 1 means 4 minus 1 and it is integer so we can write it as 4 minus 1 factorial correct and the answer will be e raised to 2t plus 2 e raised to minus 5t and plus 6t cube 4 minus 1 factorial means 3 factorial and 3 factorial means 6 we cancel we will get e raised to 2t plus e raised to minus 5t plus t cube and it is the final result of inverse the plus transform of this function means if we take the plus transform of this function we will get the entire result of this example so it is quite easy to understand and you can easily understand this example but it requires thorough knowledge of your theorems and formulas of inverse the plus transform so please keep in mind that you have to learn each and every theorem the statement of that theorem and each and every formula of inverse the plus transform so we will start with Second example.